Hey guys, so I know my last video that I made last night, I told you it was going to be my last video um, before I leave, but I promise this is going to be my last, last, last video. Um, tomorrow's Sunday, so um, my flight is, my flight going to the Philippines is Monday morning, so I promise this is going to be, I know I keep saying it over and over again, but I promise this is going to be my last, last, last video. So, um, Monday morning, our flight is going to be super early. It's going to be like 7 a.m. And I live in Jersey, but, um, I don't know, to save a couple hundred dollars, you know, actually not a couple, a lot, because, um, we have an airport right by my house, but my parents got four tickets because it's going to be me, my brother, my mom, and my dad. So, we saved a lot of money because instead of getting tickets going to the closer airport, then we would have probably spent more, probably an extra 800 to 900 dollars. So we have to go all the way to JFK Airport, um, John F. Kennedy Airport, which is in New York. So it's super far. It's like a two hour drive. So I have to get up super, super early, um, mad early. I think I have to wake up at like probably 4 or 5 a.m. And then we have to be there by 7 a.m. in the morning. Because you know how before your, you know how before your um, plane leaves, you know how you have to get there a few hours before, so you could you know check in your things, um, you know all those get past security and all that other stuff you gotta, all that other stuff you gotta do with the airport. So check in your baggages. Um, um, what do you call that? Oh, and get the what do you call that? They're not called ticket stubs. What are they called? Boarding pass. There you go. Boarding pass. Okay, so um, I went on another little, um, not really shopping today. I kind of just went out and ran errands. Tomorrow, Sunday's my last day, so tomorrow I also have to run more errands because there's a couple of things I still need to get that I totally forgot about today. Like I totally rem I remembered um, just now that I have to buy um, what do you call it? I have to buy. Sunblock lotion, because it's going to be so hot in the Philippines, and I don't want to come back, you know, burnt and, and red, so I'm definitely going to probably go to the drugstore tomorrow and get some sunblock lotion, okay? So I just went to the beauty supply store, and I just um, got a couple of things. I saw a lot of things that were on sale, things that caught my eye, but mainly I went to the store today because I needed to go to the drugstore and buy some makeup remover wipes, so that's going to be great for traveling. Because uh, I'm going to be on the plane. It's going to be a 22-hour flight. So um, makeup remover wipes are really um, really good for traveling. Because you could just you know take it out. Um, wipe your face. You feel refreshed. You can use it in the plane. And also to take off makeup when I'm in the Philippines. So it's going to be really good to just cleanse your face. Okay. Let's start. So here's all the stuff that I got. I also went to the Dollar Tree. You guys see the bag? But I also went to, what beauty supply, what beauty supply store did I go to? Oh, I went to Sally's. So, I never really went to Sally's before, but there's like a Sally's by my house, and it's totally brand new, so I was so excited about that. Okay, so, I'll do the Dollar Tree later on. Let me do, um, Sally's first. Okay. I was really, really excited because I didn't think Sally's was going to have, like, a lot of nice things, but I thought it was just, like, a lot of hair stuff, and they didn't really have a lot of makeup. I was expecting them to have, like, at least drugstore makeup, like, CoverGirl, Rimmel, but they didn't have any makeup. They didn't even have, um, they didn't even have NYX. All they had was, um, I guess their own brand of makeup called Sally Girl, so it was really cheap. It was, like, a dollar each, but they're really, really tiny, so... Um, all the Sally Girl, um, cosmetics from Sally's, I guess it's their own little brand, but they're all a dollar each, and it's six for five dollars, so they have little tiny nail polishes, mascaras, eyeshadows, and I just got a blush, because I wanted to try it out, and it's just this pretty plum color. Um, I know it kind of looks pinkish orangish, but it's just a nice plum color, and as you see, it's a Sally Girl in the corner, you see that? And there's no color, but it has a number. It's 388402. And this was just a doll. I just wanted to try it out because I've seen a lot of makeup gurus do kind of, um, I don't 
don't know. They kind of talk about, like, the whole Sally's girl. Um, See, why does my hair do that? Do you see that? Why does it split from, like, the other hairs? Why can't it just go together? <sighs> so annoying. Okay. See? Why can't it stay like that? Why does it have to, like, separate? Okay, so this was only a dollar, just wanted to try it out, um, wanted to see what the fuss was all about, it was just a buck, so if it sucks, it's okay, it's just a dollar, out of my pocket. Because, I don't know, I see a lot of people talk about, um, the Sally Girl things. Okay then, oh my gosh, I was so excited about this too. I found these mint lip shines at Sally's, and originally they were $1.99, but they were on sale, and it was only $0.99 cents each, so I picked up two. And... It's from a brand called Be Kissed. I don't know if you can see that, but I don't know. I what what made me want to buy it is because when I saw the word mint, I love any products that have like mint in it because if you um even with like chapsticks, if you use any lip products that have mint or any peppermint or anything like that, it just I love any lip products that gives your lips like a nice cooling refreshing sensation you know anything that makes it feel tingly like for example you know those plumping um those plumping lip balms like the ones i'm not sure what they're called but they have these really expensive um lip glosses these plumping lip glosses that they sell in sephora and it's called um oh there we go fusion i think it's called fusion beauty but they're really expensive and they're like really plumpy plumping lip glosses and when you put them on they're so cooling and refreshing but they kind of hurt to like to a point where it doesn't feel good but um yeah so i wanted to try these out and it has peppermint oil two percent and it says our mint infused lip shine provides a refreshing cooling sensation so that's what totally bought me when i read those words when i read refreshing cooling sensation i was like i gotta get it i'm getting it so i got two it was only a dollar so if it doesn't work that good or if i don't like it i don't know it was only a dollar Lips stay moist and protected while peppermint oil gives fresh, long-lasting... Oh, I'm sorry. While peppermint oil gives breath, long-lasting freshness. Mint-infused lip shine for fresh breath. So, yeah, I can wait to use that. And it just looks like this, and it was on sale for $0.99 cents each. Okay, so last but not least, I picked up a hair product, and um, if you guys watch this, um, she's another makeup guru here on YouTube, and her, if you guys know her name, her name is Lena, and her YouTube name here is Makeup by Lena Baby, so she, wonder, she has a thousand, a bazillion videos, but in her earlier video, she did like a hair, hair care routine video, and she uses this, and this is, um, a smoothing, a smoothing balm. I don't know where else they sell these, but they sell these in Sally's. And this is from the generic brand. So what generic brand means, they make products or there's hair products that are the same exact thing as, you know, the higher end, as the expensive, the higher end product. So this one is the generic smoothing balm, and it looks like this. And this one is comparable to... Um, the Paul Mitchell Super Skinny Relaxing Relaxing Balm. Super Skinny Relaxing Balm. So it's supposed to be comparable to it, and it's supposed to be like the same thing. And I hope this, I hope this really works for me because my hair is super oily, so I hope it doesn't, I don't know, make it oily or anything or weigh it down. But I'm gonna try this out for a couple of days or a couple months. So if you guys want to know more about this, um, let me try it out for a couple of weeks. And if you guys want me to do a review video, let me know. Or leave me a comment down below and let me know if you want me to do a review video on this. Just in case you guys are interested. But these are on sale. Originally, it's supposed to be $6.79. But it was on sale. All the generic hair products were all 2 for 10 and I was going to get another one so I could pay 10 But I just wanted to try it out first. And if it's good, I'm definitely going to go back and get more. But yeah, this is just kind of like a like a serum like a smoothing balm it's supposed to um it says it's supposed to smooth your hair get rid of any um dryness it rehydrates your hair it takes away any flyaways any frizziness so makeup by lana baby uses this and her hair is absolutely gorgeous it's so smooth and silky looking so if this works for her then i hope it works for me okay so it's for smooth control so that's that. 
So I'm really excited about that um product. Oh, so I also went to Walgreens. There was like um a little sale going on. So I picked up some this is what I've been eating for my vacation. I just got some um, makeup removing wipes. And they're just the Walgreens brand, as you see. And it's a cleansing and makeup removing towel. And there's like 15 in it. But this was like super cheap. I always get these. They're only like $2.29. And I have another one that I already used. But I'm only going to be in the Philippines for like 3 weeks. So this has 15. 15 um, wipes. So this is going to be good for like 2 weeks in a day. Because there's two because there's 14 days in 2 weeks. And then the rest, I, I'll just bring the rest that I have. So I have that. And I just got three makeup products. Um, I don't know, but Walgreens is crazy today. They had so much sales. Like the rim, everything from the Rimmel line was like 50% off, I think. And everything was either from 174 to 524. So I just got two Rimmel products. And I just got there. Um, I have another one of these, but I just wanted to get another one just for my backup, and it was on sale. This is the Rimmel Stay Matte Press Powder, and this is supposed to mattify your face and control shine. Just looks like this, and this was two two eighty nine, I think. Then I also got myself another moisture new lipstick, and I absolutely love these. These lipsticks are so moisturizing. You guys, I have. You guys already know I use these all the time. I only have like two more of these. I have um, vintage pink and pink cheek and spotlight beige but I got one in dreamy and it's just a pretty peachy corally nude color with gold undertones and it's a little bit shimmery and it looks like that and on camera it looks darker but it's just a pretty kind of peachy corally nude pinkish color it's a perfect nude color for every day so I got that and this was not until this was like eight dollars I think or seven then Revlon also had a whole bunch of sales, and I just got one of their um, Revlon Illuminance Cream Shadows, the, the quad, and it just looks like that. And I got the ones in all the neutrals and brown colors, which is going to be good for everyday, because for everyday I use a lot of neutrals and brown eyeshadows. And this one is called 710 Not Just Nudes. So this was on sale for like 2 dollars so that was super, super cheap. Okay, so then I went to the Dollar Tree, and it's right here. Well, it's the last thing, you guys. I told you it's just going to be a quick little haul. So now that I'm going to be going to the Philippines on Monday, um, I'm going to be bringing, um, I think I'm going to bring, you know, a lot of liquidy things. So instead of taking, like, my whole bottle of shampoo or my whole, you know, bottles of shampoo, bottles of um, my heat protectant, I'm also going to bring some hair gel. Um, a lot of bottles I'm going to be bringing for beauty products. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put them in these little travel bottles that I got. And one of them has a pump. So I think I'm going to use this one for like, I don't know, I have no idea. And then this one is a spray. So just because it's a spray, um, you don't have to put things in there that you want to spray on. So if you want, you could just put lotions in here. Um, shampoo, so maybe the smoothing balm, I'll probably put it in that. Then I'll probably also bring some bio soap, my, um, what is that called? The bio soap, um, therapy oil, whatever it's called, and I'll put it in this pump right here. So this is only a dollar, so this is really good for traveling. And I got another one of, um, their LA Colors, um, eyeshadow palettes, and I already have the other one called Trendy, I think. I think it's called Trendy Traditional. But it has a whole bunch of, um, oh wait, I, I have another one right here. So I got two. I got one for my mom. Cause, I don't know, I figured I'd get her one. So I got my mom Trendy. This one just has a whole bunch of neutral colors, as you see. It's just browns and nudes, neutral colors. And this one's called Trendy. And then, I already have this one. So I got myself one with kind of like the smoky, darker colors. And this one just has grays, um, blues. Grays, blues, and blacks for smoky. And this one's called Supernatural. Then I also got my... Oh, wait. I totally forgot. This one is from Walgreens. Um, I got an NYC lip gloss. Liquid lip shine. Okay. And that's about it, you guys. I'll see you guys later. Bye.